Hello my people. So I figured I would start out this Plain Bad Heroines vlog by vlogging myself going and purchasing the book. And I am currently down a little bit south. It's raining, which is a little disappointing because we come down here to get the sun, but it's fine. I like the rain in general, just not when I go on my like sunny vacation. Not really, it's not really a vacation. We came down here for work. But there is a Barnes & Noble here, so we are going to be running in there and hopefully they have Plain Bad Heroines. I haven't decided if I want it in paperback or hardback, but I think I'm gonna go paperback if they have it. We'll see. So it's kind of loud around here so might or might not use this clip but we are at the Old North Church which is the location of where they hung the lanterns and then Paul Revere um, went and warned the people that the British were coming and marching on I think it was Concord and oh what was the other place there was another one was it Lexington might have been Lexington that's our guess uh, but when I was a kid, I think it was in fifth grade, I memorized the Paul Revere poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and that sucker is long. So it's just kind of cool to be here and see this after learning about it in school, memorizing that whole big old long poem. It's just, it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, and I also have brought along Plain Bad Heroines, and that is going to be my main book of the trip, so I'm really excited. And we're going to bookstores, so I'll put some of that, a little bit of that footage in too, but I think I'll do a whole vlog of just my like birthday book shopping. Take it away Tonight is all for you and me So baby. 
I have a little bit of an obsession with bridges, which is why part of the reason why we went on this nice little trip to New England. So I am on this super cute covered bridge. I don't know if you can really tell how adorable it is, um, but let's walk out a little bit more and you can see through the little things how adorable this bridge is and ooh, focus on me again there we go had to adjust the lighting um and then we'll go to the other side and it's just so pretty look at that it's gorgeous i love it so we're just going to be spending a little bit of time here. I'll probably read a little bit, drink a little coffee, enjoy my bridge. And yeah, I'm going to keep reading Plain Bad Heroines, which I am about 50 pages into it now. And I am enjoying it. I'm very intrigued to see where we go with this. I like it quite a bit at this point. I like the writing style. I think it's fun. I don't there was one section that I wasn't a huge fan of and it was the part with the author of the book that the movie that they're making is based on and I just I wasn't so much a fan of that part of it I feel like the writing style felt a little different there but I am intrigued to see what's going on here I feel like there's this theme of yellow jackets and I want to see what happens with that so I'm going to read a little bit now railroad tracks ever it's gorgeous just like look at that it's stunning I love it it looks like it could be in the book that I'm reading it has that creepy vibe to it
I am now back from New England, back home. I loved the trip, it was amazing. Uh, but I just, I always feel this coming home feeling. I don't know if anyone else has that, like no matter how good the trip was, no matter how much you loved it, coming home just feels so good, sleeping in your own bed, having all your stuff around. So yeah, I loved the trip, it was beautiful. It was just so amazing. Oh, but I am sitting on my couch and I am comfy and I'm in my cozy clothes and I have been reading some more of Plain Bad Heroine. So I did just recently get home. So most of what I have read, I did read on the trip. I am over halfway through. I think I maybe have a quarter of the book left. Let me look. Yeah, so I have probably about a quarter of the book left and I am enjoying it. I feel like it has a very interesting pull to it. I just need to kind of know what's happening. I feel like I'm hoping that it's going to be something supernatural. That's what I'm going for. And I definitely have those vibes coming. So I'm really interested to figure out why this is all going on, what kind of the precipitating factor for all of this craziness is. I found that I enjoy some of the characters more than others. I think I already talked about that a little bit, but I am definitely enjoying the part in the past quite a bit. I think that part is a lot more interesting to me than the part that is set in the future. Even though I do enjoy a lot of the parts in the future, the past is just so much more interesting to me. I think it's the um, atmosphere of it. It just feels creepier, it feels more atmospheric. And so I do enjoy that quite a bit. And some of the characters in the future, I just really am not getting on with. I don't enjoy their points of view very much. I really do enjoy the two actresses quite a bit. I think uh, especially Harper Harper, I enjoy her backstory probably a lot because she's from Montana. So I love that. I feel that connection with her. Um, the other actress, gosh, Audrey, is that her name? Gosh, I'm bad with names. I do enjoy her perspective. I thought I wouldn't as much. She seemed like she'd be a, a little bit insecure and annoying, but I actually really do enjoy reading from her perspective just because of the different aspect to it, which is fun. Um, and I really don't enjoy reading from the author's perspective. She's so annoying. She's so frustrating. I think that's kind of the point of her. She's not supposed to be a super likable character, but oh, she bugs me. But overall, I do like it. I wish I would get more time in the past. And honestly, I would like this book if the entire thing was set in the past and there wasn't even any part in the future. But I really, I get the two timelines and I think they're fun. I like the writing style. I like the humor that is in it. I think the humor is really well done and it's very entertaining and fun. And I really love that we went to some of the places that were mentioned in this book. Like we went to Newport, Rhode Island. We saw some of the giant houses that were were there and it said that Newport was like just across the way from Brook Brookhaunt so I just think it's so awesome to have been where this was set and I can totally see it. I can see that creep me out creepy atmosphere there along the coast. It's just, it was gorgeous, but it definitely had those vibes that you get kind of like in those old gothic books like Rebecca. So I'm really enjoying it and I'm interested to finish. I think I'm probably going to finish it within the next couple days. So I will give you guys another update when I do. Also, on the trip when we would stop at bridges we would get leaves at each bridge so I was putting the leaves into the book so I can keep them as like keepsakes I don't know where all of them are there's a bunch stuck in here um, at random places okay well we found two. Oh, there's another one there's a third uh, but yeah so those are keepsakes and as we can see the book got damaged um it was being carried around in a backpack and i think it got a little bit wet and was like rubbing on stuff but you know what i don't really mind 
I like it. It gives it some character and helps me remember the trip. So yeah, I love it. I love the little uniquenesses of it now. Sorry, watching the football game, but wanted to film and let you know that I finished Plain Bad Heroines, um, and it was good. I did really enjoy this book. I'm also really glad you guys picked this. I feel like you've picked me some great books so far, and I'm really excited to keep doing the subscriber pick thing. Uh, but yeah, Plain Bad Heroines was a lot of fun. I haven't read a ton of horror before, and I think it's a genre I am really going to enjoy. I liked the creepy vibes. I liked the atmosphere going on with those creepy vibes. I really enjoyed the different like twisted information that you get. I liked it so much. I think horror is a genre I'm really, really gonna want to jump into a lot more in the future. Uh, but overall, I liked this book, obviously. I really did enjoy my time reading it. There's a few things that I didn't quite like as much. I do like kind of an open-ended ending, so you're not 100% sure what happened. And I feel like that definitely was this book. The ending didn't have a very solid resolution, and we still had a lot of questions. We didn't really know what was going to happen. I don't think it was set up in a way that I would want there to be a sequel, but obviously, like, there's a potential for that. I, I just, I liked how it ended, and I didn't, I don't want a sequel. But there is some an aspect to it that I would have liked more information on. I was very interested in that part of this story and I feel like I would have enjoyed delving deeper into that, having that be a more prominent part of the story. For me personally, I actually would enjoy a story that focused a lot more on that. I. Uh, I liked the dual timelines. I thought that was a lot of fun. I thought it was interesting. It really like drew you into the mystery to see what was happening. But I really liked the past timeline better. And I think I would have enjoyed a book that was set exclusively in that timeline with those characters. I enjoyed that a lot better. So just a personal preference on it. I think the way it was done was good. It was really well done. And a lot of the times when they would jump us between timelines was set well. So you really, really wanted to know what happened in the timeline you were in, but then it would jump you to the next one. So it held you in suspense. That was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously it was frustrating, but it was frustrating in a good way that made me want to keep reading. I liked the writing style. I felt like parts of it though went a little bit over my head. I didn't get a lot of the references and I don't know if it's just like some culture thing like I just am not into that type of culture potentially uh, yeah but there was a lot of references in here that I just had no idea what they were getting at with it but um other than that yeah I, I really did like it I would recommend it I thought it was a lot of fun I feel like the past had more of a dark academia feel the present really wasn't. And I also wanted them to get to the school sooner. It took a really long time for our future timeline to get to the point where we were actually a part of the mystery, what was going on, the creepiness, the school, the vibes, and I would have enjoyed getting there sooner. I think we took a little too long and that made me dislike the future timeline more. But overall, fun time. Great pick, you guys. Liked it a lot. Super excited to uh, chat with Angela about this. I think we're planning on doing a live show. I don't know whose channel is on. I'll probably post about it on my Instagram if you guys are interested in listening to our chat about it. Uh, but we're kind of, kind of just casually reading it. And so whenever uh, we get around to it, we will do that live show. But I'll definitely post it so you guys can check it out. But yeah, this was a fun read. This was a great book. And if this author writes any more along these same horror lines, I will definitely pick it up. And hopefully she'll do more of that set in the past gothic horror because that I think is my thing my vibe my jam so yeah thanks for watching guys um I hope you like this vlog and I am really excited to see what you guys pick for November